Hi guys, my name is Ariel and welcome back to my channel. So we are in the middle of the coronavirus obviously and I have a lot of free time. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get back on making astrology videos and do what I wanna do right now. And I also think we can use a lot of positivity so might as well continue with my why your zodiac sign is awesome series. So this video is on why I think Virgo is awesome. For starters, I think Virgo is one of the most underrated signs of the zodiac. Like, I'm a Virgo rising, so to be fair, I'm not completely impartial, so because of that, I love Virgos because I hate stupid people, and Virgos are not stupid. Virgos are very intelligent. By far, the most analytical sign of the zodiac is Virgo. You guys are able to take in massive amounts of information, and then you analyze and honestly overanalyze, like, extensively the information that you take in. Virgos are also those people that really like to question everything, which some people get annoyed with you about, and they tell you that's not a good thing, but those people are dumb, so fuck them. People get defensive when they have to question, you know, how they, what they've been taught to think and what they've been taught to believe. People just want to accept the information that's been thrown at them is fact because they don't want to have to do research and they don't want to have to analyze and it takes that takes a lot of work. But as a Virgo, you're not like the average person when it comes to knowledge. You are critical thinkers. Virgo understands that whatever you're reading or you're being told, it's skewed because that is another person's opinion. And you don't want to take on that opinion necessarily. You want to come up with your own opinion for yourself. You're that person if you read one news article about a current event then you're gonna go read a bunch of news articles about the same current event. So you get a bunch of different perspectives, so then that way you take all that information together and you go, huh, okay, this is what I think. This is what I think for myself, not what someone else told me to think, but what I think. This is what makes you the most mentally independent of all the mutable signs. You're the most self-aware in a lot of ways because you're constantly forming yourself in forming your own opinion. You're not that person who's gonna let the world decide what to think for you. You're gonna decide what to think for yourself. Virgo has this desire to keep everything in their life as just simple and neat and like elegant and clean. And a lot of this I think comes from the fact that you guys have a lot of anxiety and your brains cause you a lot of anxiety because there's a lot going on up there all the time. So you wanna help your brains by controlling your surrounding environment and having it just be calm and simple as possible. <laughs> You want to keep everything around you organized because it helps keep you mentally sharp and just reduces a lot of your anxiety when things around you are organized. Your brain's already complex enough as it is and you're one of those people who has the ability to look at a complex situation and you understand all of it. And then similar to how you control your surrounding environments, you take the complexity and you figure out how to break that down into the simplest solution as possible. You take complex ideas and you make it simple to understand and that's part of why a bunch of you make really good teachers. You're good at taking complex information and figuring out how to express that information simply to other people to make it easier for them to understand. You're those people who your brain is constantly on, which for you is exhausting, but it's also your gift in a way. Other people's brains like shut off before yours does and then they can't absorb any more information while yours is still going. Virgo is the most detail-oriented sign of the zodiac. If it wasn't for you guys, the world would not know how to properly function because there would be so many little details that the rest of us would miss. And it's because you have a keen eye for details that makes you such a perfectionist. This often drives other people crazy, but like, screw them, because your work turns out better than them and they don't know why. But it's because you notice a lot of stuff that other people miss. Virgo, you work harder than other people, and you don't stop until you're as close to perfect as you're gonna get. You know, other people, a lot of times, they're just lazy. And so their work, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be sloppy and messy in comparison to yours. And then they're gonna get jealous, going, why is their work so much better than me? And it's like, well, it's your own fault. <laughs> you know, I think a prime example of like Virgo energy is David Fincher, which if you don't know who he is, go look up his movies, he's amazing. Um, but he's one of those people, he's known for doing take after take after take after take, and he has such a keen eye for detail that he notices all these little things like, oh, that's not right, oh, I don't like this, oh, I don't like this, and he'll make people do take after take. And way more than any other, or most directors out there, but then his work turns out fantastic. And he's, a lot of his films are just better than most of the content that's being put out there right now because he's such a perfectionist. That's Virgo at its best, in my opinion. You being your perfectionist self is when your best self comes out. Just try not to drive yourself too crazy trying to be a perfectionist. 
Virgo can sometimes do that, and it's part of what causes you guys so much anxiety. I think Virgo's probably one of the most anxious signs of the zodiac, unfortunately, which is something you do need to work on. And a lot of you do get better at that as you get older. I think a lot of times more in your 30s, you're better at it than in your 20s. Virgo's also co-ruled by the planet Mercury, which is the same planet as Gemini. So you have a lot of the same sort of qualities or similarities to them. You just execute it in a different way. For example, I think Virgos are really funny. You guys are super witty. You take your intelligence and you turn it into humor. Your intelligence, it just comes out in a little bit of more dry and sarcastic way than Gemini's does. There's a lot of famous comedians and actors who are Virgos. Like for example, Amy Poehler, John Mulaney, Bill Murray. Like whenever I'm watching a TV show or a movie, I'm always like, well, me as a person, I always think the best character is like whoever's the funniest character on the show. And then I'm a weirdo. So I'm totally like, I wonder what sign they are. So then I always Google them. And then usually I find out that they're a Virgo. You know, Virgos get a bad rap for being negative. But a lot of the times you take your negativity and you really turn it into a great sense of humor. You make fun of things and people that annoy you. You make fun of yourself. But what about yourself annoys you? Like Virgo winds up making fun of everything because everything ultimately annoys you. Virgos can see what's wrong with everything, therefore you can make fun of everything. <laughs> I honestly think Virgo is the most helpful sign of the zodiac. Like you will do anything and everything to help other people. Virgo feels good when you're taking physical actions to help other people. So like Virgo is all about tangible results, right? So you think to yourself, you're like, what can I do that will help make that other person's life better? When Virgo's in a situation where there's nothing they can do to help, I mean, it's maddening for you. It's legit maddening for you because your brain, you're, you want to fix things. So you just spend all your time going, how can I fix this? How can I fix this? How can I fix this? Which sometimes you need to learn that you can't. And that's unfortunate and it sucks, but that doesn't mean that you failed. You're still doing what you can to help, even if you can't always help. All right, so that is it. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe below or just leave a comment. All right, bye.